Chapter 1631, Heavenly Flame Square A faint fog enveloped around this mysterious space, causing the entire area to appear misty. This space was completely quiet. That manner was as though it had been quiet for eons. A piece of land floated in this seemingly vast and boundaryless space. The land was suspended in the air without any support. It appeared just like a pavilion in the air. Chi. The loneliness that had lasted for a long time had finally been broken today. The misty space had suddenly become distorted. Immediately, a huge spatial tunnel appeared. Soon after, many figures suddenly rushed out from within. Finally, they landed on that plot of land. Is this the ancient god mansion? Xiao Yan's body had just landed on the ground when his eyes hurriedly swept around him. However, he was stunned to discover that even with the great strength of his distate soul, he was actually unable to probe beyond a 10,000 feet radius. Clearly, this place imposed quite a great pressure towards spiritual strength. Sun Er, Ca Lin, and the rest had also swiftly appeared beside Xiao Yan. Their eyes revealed a cautious expression as they watched this mysterious space. With the many human figures appearing, the experts from both parties also hurriedly separated. After which, they stared at the other side with cautious eyes as they readied themselves for various sneak attacks. Do not be delayed by them. Let's go. The Nihilite devouring flame glanced at Gu Yuan's group. After which, his eyes turned towards this realm. There was some strange fluctuation appearing within his eyes. After which, he spoke in a soft voice. He subsequently took the lead to hurry into the distance. Hun Tiendi and the experts from the Hun clan quickly followed. The Nihilite devouring flame is actually aware of the way. Gu Yuan was startled after he saw this scene. Even he could sense some pressure after arriving in this place. It was impossible for him to probe and locate the Dittir embryonic pill within such a short time. Unexpectedly, this Nihilite devouring flame seemed to be extremely familiar with the way. The Nihilite devouring flame Hui. Zhu Kun was surprised. He immediately nodded while being in a deep thought. It is not surprising for him to know the way. Follow them. Zhu Kun did not give any explanation after his voice sounded. He directly took the lead to give chase. Gu Yuan and the others hesitated for a moment before quickly following him. The two groups charged forward with full force on this seemingly vast and endless land. They were just like falling stars that swiftly cut through the sky. This fast charging continued for over a dozen minutes. Finally, the speed of the Nihilite devouring flame and the others in front were gradually reduced. Gu Yuan, Xiao Yan, and the others swiftly gave chase after their speed was reduced. After which, they looked at the ancient stone hall, which appeared on that spacious plains. A fiery heat flashed within their eyes. The stone hall stood quietly on the vast and endless plains. An ancient aura spread from it and reverberated across the space. In front of the stone hall was an incomparably huge square. There were many 10,000 feet large towering pillars standing on both sides of the square. A towering like majestic aura pounced over from that place. Xiao Yan's group carefully landed on the square. Some rubbing sound quietly sounded on the stone ground as their footsteps landed. There was some distance between both parties. After which, they occupied both sides of the hall. They opened their strides and cautiously walked towards the square. This square was extremely spacious. Everyone felt as though they were ants crawling in the desert as they walked on it. It was difficult for them to see its boundary. However, everyone present could already be considered the strongest people on the Dochi continent. All of them possessed some metal toughness. Hence no one created an uproar. Everyone's hearts were filled with some respect and fear in this divine-like place. Hey! Xiao Yan's footsteps suddenly paused as he walked. He turned his head and looked at the top of a stone pillar a short distance in front. There was a cluster of deep yellow colored flame rising from it. This kind of flame allowed Xiao Yan to see from a glance that it was a kind of heavenly flame. If he guessed correctly, this should be the mysterious yellow flame that was ranked 23rd on the heavenly flame ranking. 
why is this heavenly flame so weak? However, Xiao Yan soon began to frown. This was indeed the mysterious yellow flame. However, it appeared extremely weak and tiny. Its appearance was as though the strength that was originally within the heavenly flame had been completely lost. Qi. A flame suddenly gathered on Xiao Yan's shoulder as he felt some doubts. After which, Little Yi appeared in a flash. It looked at this quiet square and a somewhat lost expression suddenly surged within its eyes. This place, is very familiar. Xiao Yan's footsteps suddenly paused after he heard Little Yi's low voice. He turned his head and looked at Little Yi in shock. Familiar? This was the ancient god mansion. Who could be familiar with this place? What happened? Light flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes. A thought appeared in his heart and it was transmitted to Little Yi's heart. I don't know. I simply feel that this place is a little familiar. It seems, that I have been here in the past. Little Yi replied while feeling lost. Xiao Yan's expression changed rapidly. Been here in the past? How could it be possible? The ancient god mansion was opened for the first time. Before this, he had never heard of the ancient god mansion being opened before. Hence, Xiao Yan first thought was that it was ridiculous when he heard Little Yi mention that it seemed to have been to this place before. Soon after, however, he thought that Little Yi, who was mentally connected to him, would definitely not lie. In this way, it seemed that there is a very high possibility that what Little Yi had said was true. However, Xiao Yan did not understand why Little Yi would feel that this place was familiar. Xiao Yan frowned tightly. His footsteps caught up with the others. At this moment, everyone had also discovered the heavenly flames on the stone pillars. However, the heavenly flames was ranked too far behind. Hence, they did not pay much attention to it. However, they had walked for another thousand feet when another towering stone pillar appeared. There was also a cluster of flame rising on the stone pillar. 10,000 Beast Spirit Flame, ranked 22nd on the Heavenly Flame ranking. Xiao Yan slowly exhaled as he looked at the cluster of rising red flame, which vaguely revealed the appearance of tens of thousands of beasts. His eyes flashed. After which, he looked forward. His footsteps sped up greatly. Seeing this, Gu Yuan and the others hurriedly followed. They once again advanced by a thousand feet. Another stone pillar appeared. There was also a different heavenly flame rising from it. However, these heavenly flames did not possess an overly great strength. At a glance, it appeared just like a decoration. However, Xiao Yan, who was well versed in heavenly flames, understood that these heavenly flames were not fake. They were all genuine heavenly flames. These heavenly flamed, Gu Yuan's group looked at this scene. Their eyes revealed a shocked expression. It seems that the heavenly flame ranking is higher the further in front it is located, Xiao Yan softly muttered. He turned his head and looked at Little Yi, which was sitting on his shoulder. After which, his eyes turned to the Nihilite devouring flame a short distance away. The latter's emotion also seemed to have a big ripple. However, there seemed to be a lost expression similar to that of Little Yi in them. Faster. Xiao Yan urged. After which, he quickened his footsteps. The group hurriedly followed. With their increase in speed, many towering stone pillars appeared one after another. The heavenly flames ranked on the heavenly flame rankings rose o these stone pillars. Amongst these heavenly flames, Xiao Yan could see an extremely familiar green lotus core flame, fallen heart flame, sea heart flame, bone chilling flame etc. It is unexpected that the Tio Yu Shi ancient god actually loves to collect heavenly flames, after seeing the sixth ranked flame on the heavenly flame ranking, the eight wasteland destruction flame, even Gu Yuan could not resist exclaiming. I wonder if the legendary top three ranked heavenly flames on the heavenly flame ranking are here. Yan Jin nodded. He suddenly looked at Little Yi on Xiao Yan's shoulder and the Nihilite devouring flame a short distance away. Although heavenly flames were rare in this world, there were more than one of each type. However, 
the top three ranked heavenly flames were different. Normally speaking, if there was a purifying demonic lotus flame or a nihilite devouring flame existing in this world, there would not be a second flame of the same type appearing. Yet, the purifying demonic lotus flame and the nihilite devouring flame were both currently present. One was in Xiao Yan's hands while the other had turned into a human shape to aid the Hun clan. Could that Tio Yu Shi ancient god have created a second purifying demonic lotus flame and nihilite devouring flame? Go. Yan Jin was clearly not the only person who had such thoughts. Even those from the Hun clan and swiftly increased their speed after exchanging glances. The two groups quickly hurried over the spacious square. A moment later, all the figures came to a sudden halt. At this moment, they had gradually approached the end of the square. Another two towering stone pillars appeared in everyone's sight after they passed by the fourth-ranked gold emperor incinerating heavenly flame. Everyone immediately threw their eyes towards the top of the stone pillars the moment they saw the two giant-looking pillars. This time around, however, they did not see any heavenly flame rising from them. The top of the stone pillars were empty. The expected purifying demonic lotus flame and nihilite devouring flame were absent from them. In other words, it seemed that these two types of heavenly flames were not included in the Tiyu Shi ancient god's collection. Everyone sighed softly after seeing this. They appeared to feel a slight regret. These are the last two stone pillars. It seems that even the Tiyu Shi ancient god is unable to obtain the legendary first-ranked heavenly flame. Gu Yuan also spoke somewhat regretfully after seeing the end of the square after the two stone pillars. Xiao Yan did not interrupt. His eyes were merely startled as he stared at the two empty stone pillars. His hands slowly touched Little Yi on his shoulder. Suddenly, he recalled the familiar feeling that Little Yi had mentioned earlier and how the Nihilite devouring flame knew the way here. Xiao Yan touched the purifying demonic lotus flame. After which, he glanced at the Nihilite devouring flame only to discover that the latter was looking at the last pillar with a lost expression. The feelings he showed. Seeing the somewhat strange expression of the Nihilite devouring flame, a thought that caused one's head to become numb slowly rose from within Xiao Yan's heart. It is not that the Tiyu Shi ancient god had not collected the purifying demonic lotus flame and the Nihilite devouring flame, instead, the both of them, had fled from this place. Chapter 1632, Terrifying Dittir Embryonic Pill This thought had just rose from his head when it swiftly spread to every part of Xiao Yan's body and he could no longer escape from it. Who? Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air. He suppressed the great shock within his heart. If he guessed correctly, this Tiyu Shi ancient god was really terrifying. Other than the first ranked heavenly flame on the heavenly flame ranking, all the other. These heavenly flames might possess their original heavenly flame essence but it appears as though all of its energy had disappeared. Currently, they are merely ordinary flames with their original forms, Xiao Yan's eyes swept over those towering stone pillars behind him and involuntarily felt somewhat regretful. If it was possible to devour and refine them, it was likely that his strength would reach a relatively terrifying extent. Swallowing twenty types of heavenly flames together. It was likely that hardly anyone past or present, had been able to do it. Little Yi sat on Xiao Yan's shoulder. Its small face was a little complicated. It looked at the second stone pillar and the expression on its small face was a little complicated. The expression seemed to be lost, painful, terrifying. Xiao Yan's hand gently patted on Little Yi's head. He could already be certain that Little Yi and the Nihilite devouring flame were restrained on this stone pillar. In the end, however, the two of them had somehow escaped. Perhaps something unexpected had occurred, resulting in their memories become blurry or missing. Of course, this was only Xiao Yan's guess. It was likely that no one in the world was aware of what exactly happened. After all, the parties involved, namely the purifying demonic lotus flame and the Nihilite devouring flame, had already felt their distant memories becoming blurry. Where is the Dittir embryonic pill? Hun Tiendi withdrew his eyes from the stone pillar. He looked at the Nihilite devouring flame at the side and softly said. 
the Nihilite devouring flame turned his head. His eyes looked at the edge of the square. The stone hall at that spot was enveloped within a dense fog. It caused one to be unable to see through the scene inside. Whoosh whoosh! The Nihilite devouring flame widened his mouth. A suction force surged. It directly swallowed the fog permeating over the place into his body. With the scattering of the fog, a huge shadow suddenly enveloped the entire place. Everyone hurriedly lifted his head, only to be shocked as he saw a hundred thousand feet tall stone statue suddenly appeared in their eyes. The stone statue appeared to be like an old man. That appearance was not unfamiliar to Xiao Yan. It was the owner of the ancient god mansion, the legendary Tio Yushi ancient god. The stone statue stood in the sky in an extremely powerful aura that seemed to dominate the world scattered from it. Even Xiao Yan's group seemed to be pressed by a mountain under the aura. A couple of weaker individuals even knelt on the ground, shattering the hard stone ground into dust. Many light clusters danced around the stone statue. It appeared extremely brilliant when seen from afar. These are Qi Method and Do Skills Xiao Yan narrowed his eye as he looked at these clusters of light. His heart was quickly shaken. This was because he discovered that those light cluster actually contained some ancient scrolls inside it. He could sense an extremely strong spirituality from those scrolls. This kind of spirituality was not inferior to the so-called Tian class high-level Qi method or Do skills. Hundreds of Tian class Qi method and Do skills. Even though everyone present were extraordinary, such a collection still caused their breath to involuntarily become heavier. Tian class Qi method and Tian class Do skill could be considered quite rare even in the Gu and Hun clan. In this place, however, they have become commonplace as they filled one's sight. Although the Tian class Do skill and Qi method were extremely attractive, it did not result in much desire from experts like Gu Yuan and Hun Tiendi. Hence, their eyes swept over them before turning towards another spot. However, it was still impossible to see the so-called Dittir embryonic pill. It has been a long time since this place had been so lively. A faint elderly voice suddenly descended from the sky while everyone were frowning. It resounded beside everyone's ears. This sudden elderly voice caused everyone to be shocked. They hurriedly rotated their bodies and finally stilled their eyes on the arm of a stone statue. There was an elderly figure standing with his hands behind him on that spot. His eyes were indifferent as they looked at everyone. The expression in their eyes appeared as though they were observing an ant. Tio Yushi Ancient God The eyes of Xiao Yan's group swept towards the old man in simple clothes before they let out a startled exclamation. The appearance of the latter was exactly the same as that stone statue. Moreover, the unique bright long hair was something that no one could replicate. The ancient god is still alive. A incomparably shocking thought surged into everyone's heart as they dumbly looked at the old man with an aura that seemed to surpass that of this world. What happened? Hun Tiendi's expression was a little ugly. He looked at the Nihilite devouring flame and spoke in a deep voice. He did indeed sense a terrifying aura from this old man. This kind of aura belonged to the Tio Yushi ancient god. The Nihilite devouring flame lifted its head. His eyes stared intently at the old man. A moment later, he suddenly opened his mouth and said, He is not the Tio Yushi ancient god, he is the Dittir embryonic pill. Hun Tiendi, Gu Yuan, and the others were startled after hearing these words. Immediately, their eyes revealed a strange glint as they slowly locked onto the old man. Nihilite devouring flame, what are you doing? The old man on the stone statue was startled as he furiously cried out. What do you mean by what am I doing? The Nihilite devouring flame frowned and asked after hearing his furious cry. Bastard, if I had not helped you and the purifying demonic lotus flame to severe your restraints back then, how would the both of you escape? Back then, the both of you had promised me to rescue me from this place. That old man, or rather the Dittir embryonic pill, cried out in a stern voice. The bodies of everyone present trembled abruptly after they heard his cry. His eyes were surprised as they looked at the Nihilite devouring flame and the purifying demonic lotus flame on Xiao Yan's shoulder. 
they, had actually been trapped in this place in the past? The Nihilite devouring flame had a change in expression. He thought for a long while but he was still unable to find such a scene from his memories. All he could do was to speak in a faint voice, I'm sorry, I completely do not remember about the matter you have said. However. His words paused after he spoke until this point. However, I am indeed here to rescue you this time around. Come with me. The expression of the Dittir pill was a little dark and stern. He stared at the Nihilite devouring flame for a long while before turning towards the purifying demonic lotus flame on Xiao Yan's shoulder and asked, Purifying demonic lotus flame, do you still remember our agreement back then? Hey! Little Yi was startled. It quickly grabbed Xiao Yan's shoulder, shook its head and said, I have never met you. The Dittir medicinal pill's expression became extremely gloomy after hearing this. A moment later, it seemed to have thought of something. He looked at the stone statue beside him, clenched his teeth and muttered, This is done by you, right? Follow us. The Nihilite devouring flame looked at the Dittir medicinal pill and laughed. Humph, it is likely that you are after my actual form, right? The Dittir medicinal pill smiled coldly, looked at the Nihilite devouring flame and said. The Nihilite devouring flame smiled. After which, his expression became stern as he said, Attack! Bang! Hun Tiendi suddenly shot forward explosively after his words had just sounded. Monstrous Do Chi spread. Finally, it turned into a tide as it ruthlessly smashed towards the Dittir embryonic pill. An insignificant trick. The Dittir embryonic pill laughed coldly after seeing this. His finger gently pointed forward. That monstrous energy tide that pounced towards him was actually cut apart. It is extremely difficult to deal with this Dittir embryonic pill. We should capture it first. Otherwise, Hun Tiendi might end up obtaining it. Zhu Kun remarked in a deep voice after seeing Hun Tiendi attacked. I, all of you should be on your guard against the other members of the Hun clan. Gu Yuan nodded. After which, he gave the instruction to Xiao Yan's group. The both of them flew out. Immediately, the energy in this place became wild and violent. Waves after waves of attacks, which caused the sky and earth to collapse, continuously attacked the Dittir embryonic pill. Faced with the attacks from Hun Tiendi, the Nihilite devouring flame, Zhu Kun, and Gu Yuan, that Dittir embryonic pill did not show any signs of panic. A frightening ripple spread as he lifted his hand. It blocked the attacks from those four. While he might appear unhurt, he was unable to move due to him being held back. Xiao Yan's group involuntarily inhaled a breath of cool air as they saw that the Dittir embryonic medicinal pill did not end up in a disadvantage even when facing the four strongest experts on the present continent. Just one Dittir embryonic pill was already this terrifying. Just how terrifying would the true Dittir medicinal pill be? It was likely that even an elite Do Di would find it somewhat troublesome when faced with a medicinal pill of this tier. The many experts from the Hun clan were ready to cause trouble when the intense big battle broke out in the sky. A cold glint flashed in Xiao Yan's eyes. He waved his hand. Yan Jin and the others rushed forward and blocked all the experts from the Hun clan. The experts from the Hun clan had a slight change in expression after they saw the Hun clan stopping them. However, they did not attack. Clearly, they wished to wait for the big battle in the sky to come to an end. This was because all of them understood that the battle there was the most important one. Whoever managed to obtain the Dittir embryonic pill would immediately be able to turn the battle around. Hence, they were aware that there was little effect regardless of what kind of intense battle they fought. Bang 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 bang! Five figures accompanied with a strength that could destroy the world crazily smashed against each other in front of everyone's eyes. The energy fluctuation from them caused even the hearts of those located far away to be frightened. Fortunately, this realm was extremely stable. Hence, this big battle did not lead to a rip in space. Xiao Yan lifted his head. He looked at the wild and violent energy fluctuation in the sky, which caused one to feel a chill. His fist was slowly clenched tightly. 
the present situation was really a little complicated. The strength displayed by the Dittier embryonic pill was car too frightening. Hence, they currently not only needed to take precaution against the Hun clan snatching the Dittier pill but they also needed to guard against any injury or deaths inflicted by the Dittier embryonic pill on Gu Yuan and Zhu Kun. These two results were definitely fatal to the Alliance army. Hence, there was really far too many variables in this chaotic battle. Chapter 1633 Snatching the Dittier Embryonic Pill Bang Bang A terrifying extermination like ripple surged across the entire place from the sky. Its aura appeared as though it intended to destroy the world. Xiao Yan had a solemn expression as he stared at the chaotic battleground. A flicker was present in his eyes. Everyone present had underestimated the strength of the Dittier Embryonic Pill. Originally Zhu Kun thought that with both Gu Yuan and him cooperating, they should be able to subdue it within a short period of time. After exchanging blows, however, he finally discovered that he was too optimistic. Additionally, with Hun Taindi and the Nihilite devouring flame entering the body, both parties ended up interrupting each other during the critical junctures. In this way, it had allowed the situation to become even more chaotic. Fortunately, this kind of chaos worked both ways. Zhu Kun and Gu Yuan might be unable to successfully subdue the Dittier embryonic pill but Hun Tiendi and the Nihilite Devouring Flame did not have the opportunity to do so either. The Nihilite Devouring Flame, whose strength was the weakest amongst the four of them, had even been attacked by both Zhu Kun and Gu Yuan for a couple of times. If it was not because of Hun Tiendi aiding him, it was likely that he would have already been injured. Fighting in this manner is not the solution, Yan Jin frowned and commented softly as he looked at the chaotic battleground in the sky. Xiao Yan laughed bitterly upon hearing this. They were no longer able to intervene in the battle at that place. If they were to forcefully enter, they would only end up being injured by the extermination force. Hence, they could only simply stand here and stare. Yan Jin shook his head helplessly after seeing the bitter smile on Xiao Yan's face. He also understood that they were unable to do anything now. The Dittier embryonic pill had an icy expression in front of everyone's eyes. He flipped his hand. There was a vague rich pill fragrance surging in the air. Do not inhale the pill fragrance. Xiao Yan hurriedly cried out. He was suddenly startled after sniffing this mysterious pill fragrance. Under the scent of the pill fragrance, it seemed that even his Dou Qi was about to ignite. Everyone hurriedly halted their breath after hearing Xiao Yan's cry. Fortunately, this pill fragrance did not target them. Hence, the Dou Qi within their bodies became violent for a moment before it gradually calmed down. De Pill Palm The Dittier medicinal pill in the sky suddenly opened both of his eyes. His body suddenly rose into the air. Finally, his palm was pressed onto the four people below. The moment it did so, a human head-sized brilliant light cluster suddenly appeared. Bang bang bang! The energy of this place seemed to have met with a hot boiling oil as it was suddenly ignited. At a glance, the seemingly endless sky was covered with a fierce flame. The entire place had become like a furnace at this moment. Even Gu Yuan's group had a drastic change in expression after seeing the might of this palm from the Dittier embryonic pill. The Dou Qi within his body was hurriedly maneuvered. The Dittier medicinal pill had an even denser icy expression. Both of his hands were suddenly pressed downwards. Immediately, the flame in the sky swiftly whistled downwards at a shocking speed. Within a short instant, the endless flame spreading across the sky had actually entered into brilliant light cluster in the Dittier embryonic pill's hands. Extinguish. Both of his hands were pressed downwards and the entire place became dark. Only the light cluster in the palm of the Dittier medicinal pill was emitting an extermination-like light. The light cluster shook. Finally, it came whistling downwards. Within a short moment, it had already arrived just above the heads of Gu Yuan's four men group. Roar! Even Gu Yuan's group could sense an extremely rich danger in the face of such a terrifying attack. Vast and mighty endless Dou Qi surged out in Yuzhen and swiftly formed an extremely powerful defense. Bang Bang! 
the light cluster heavily smashed onto the Dochi defense above the four individuals. A earth-shaking loud sound appeared as an extermination ripple overflowed. Four miserable figures fell from the sky and violently landed on the plains. They smashed onto the ground and formed deep crack lines that was a hundred thousand feet in size. Everyone's expression changed drastically after seeing this scene. No one expected that this D-tier embryonic pill would actually be able to fight against four experts who had reached the nine-star Dosheng class. Although these four people were divided into two parties which were scheming against each other, they were after all the peak-level experts in this world. It was unexpected that they were still beaten into such a state by the D-tier medicinal pill despite them joining hands. The D-tier embryonic pill floated in the sky. His eyes were icy cold as he stared at the few hundred thousand feet gullies on the plain below. The four figures rose into the air in a somewhat miserable manner. They divided into two groups and looked at each other from a distance. All of you are still lacking if you wish to refine me. The Dittier embryonic pill glanced at those four and spoke in a faint voice. He he, isn't it too early for you to be happy? The Dittier embryonic pill's words had only just sounded when the Nihilite devouring flame suddenly laughed coldly. After which, he turned his head to look at Hun Tiendi before speaking in a deep voice, Hand me the Tiyu Shi ancient god Jade. Hun Tiendi was startled upon hearing this. He hesitated for a moment before decisively taking out the Tiyu Shi ancient god Jade and handing it to the Nihilite devouring flame. The Nihilite Devouring Flame gave the Dittir Medicinal Pill a dense smile as he grabbed the Tiyu Shi Ancient God Jade. He spat out a mouthful of black blood containing some black flame and shot it onto the Ancient Jade. Both of his hands also began to suddenly form many strange seals. Xiao Yan was startled after seeing the sudden action of the Nihilite Devouring Flame. He stared at the latter's hand seals and felt that they were somewhat familiar. After musing for an instant, he suddenly lifted his head and looked at the hundred thousand feet large ancient god stone statue. The seal that the stone statue hands had formed was exactly the same as that of the Nihilite devouring flame. Hum hum. The Tiyu Shi ancient god jade in front of the Nihilite devouring flame began to hum and tremble as the latter's hand seals were rapidly formed. Soon after, a cluster of gentle light spread. The ancient jade shook and turned into a brilliant light cluster. The light cluster had many colors. There seemed to be a flame dancing within it, giving it an extremely mysterious appearance. Transforming Pill Ring How is it possible that you know how to use the Tiyu Shi Ancient God's Transforming Pill Divine Skill? The originally icy cold face of the Dittir Medicinal Pill suddenly changed after seeing the light ring being formed. Even his voice had become a little sharp. The Nihilite Devouring Flame laughed coldly. However, he did not explain. His hand was swung and a brilliant light shot out. Within a short instant, it had appeared above the Dittir embryonic pill. Circular brilliant light surfaced and enveloped the body of the Dittir embryonic pill. Ah! With these flame light clusters continuously wrapping around the body of the Dittir medicinal pill, traces of white smoke suddenly rose from within the latter. Miserable screech suddenly sounded. The Nihilite Devouring Flame's eyes were a little startled. Clearly, he did not expect this transforming pill ring to be able to restrain the Dittir medicinal pill. The flames on the latter's body became a lot fiercer and the body of the Dittir embryonic pill slowly began to shrink. It actually showed traces of turning into a medicinal pill. Seeing this Dittir medicinal pill, who was originally acting mightily, suddenly became so miserable, everyone's expression quickly paled. Their bodies flashed and they directly rushed towards the Nihilite Devouring Flame. From the looks of it, the reason that the Nihilite Devouring Flame was able to use the transforming pill ring was most likely due to the Tiyu Shi ancient god Jade. Humph! Hun Tiendi, who was prepared, immediately let out a cold snort as he saw the two acted. His body moved and appeared in front of the two. With a flick of his finger, a couple of medicinal pills containing rich medicinal fragrance shot towards Gu Yu and Duo before suddenly exploding apart. Bang bang! The air churned. Even Gu Yuan's and Zhu Kun's body were forcefully dragged down. They coldly laughed, 
exploding tier 9 treasure pill. How grand! The two of them appeared on both sides of Hun Tiandi after their voices sounded. Sharp attacks were unleashed, encompassing Hun Tiandi in the process. Boom boom! Hun Tiandi immediately fell into a disadvantage in the face of Gu Yuan's and Zhu Kun's combined attack. He appeared quite miserable as he advanced and retreat. However, he also understood the current situation. Hence, he clenched his teeth and unleashed his full strength in order to do his best to hold back Gu Yuan Duo. Get lost! This pestering-like fight caused a ferocity to surge into Zhu Kun's eyes. One could see him suddenly letting out a low roar. A couple of huge dragons, which seemed to have occupied hundreds of thousands of feet in the sky, suddenly appeared. The huge dragon turned into a purple-gold light that smashed onto Hun Tiendi, who had just forcefully received a blow from Hun Tiendi with lightning-like speed. Grug! Bright purple-gold light directly penetrated through the powerful defense on the surface of Hun Tiendi's body. It ruthlessly smashed onto his physical body. Immediately, a mouthful of fresh blood was spat out from Hun Tiendi's mouth. His body staggered as he flew backwards by tens of thousands of feet. Only then did he miserably stabilized his body. Shrink! The Nihilite devouring flame let out a stern cry as Hun Tiendi withdrew. The Dittir embryonic pill was collected inside the transforming pill ring without resistance. It turned into a brilliant light cluster the size of a human head and was suspended within the transforming pill ring. The Nihilite devouring flame rejoiced upon seeing this scene. He beckoned with his hand and the transforming pill ring flew towards him with lightning-like speed. However, the transforming pill ring was about to land in his hand when a figure suddenly appeared in front of him and grabbed it. This sudden unexpected change caused the Nihilite devouring flame to be startled. His eyes looked at the messy-haired Hun Tiendi in front of him and his eyes flickered. Hand over the Dittir medicinal pill. Given your current condition, even with the help of the Nihilite devouring flame, you are no match for us. Gu Yuan's expression was gloomy as he looked at Hun Tiendi and said. Zhu Kun by the side also slowly clenched his fist. His face was ferocious as he stared at Hun Tiendi. You want the Dittir embryonic pill? Hun Tiendi wiped off the trace of blood from the corner of his mouth. He tilted his head to look at the brilliant light cluster in the pill transforming ring. The cluster of light was like a silver river. The energy of the world seemed to be gathered inside. A strange smile suddenly surfaced on Hun Tiendi's face as he stared at the brilliant cluster of light. After which, he suddenly widened his mouth in front of everyone's shocked eyes and swallowed that brilliant light cluster. He had actually directly swallowed the Dittir embryonic pill into his body. This method of swallowing was suicidal. This fellow is crazy. Xiao Yan muttered to himself. Although this was only a Dittir embryonic pill, the energy that it contained was extremely frightening. If one was careless, one's body and even one's soul would end up exploding from being too full. This action of Hun Tiendi really seemed to be putting all his eggs in one basket. Chapter 1634, Fail this sudden action of Hun Tiendi exceeded everyone's expectations. Even the Nihilite devouring flame, who was standing behind, had a change in expression. Immediately, his expression became a little gloomy. Everyone wanted to obtain the Dittir embryonic pill. However, no one expected that Hun Tiendi would swallow it in such a reckless manner. Bastard! Zhu Kun's and Gu Yuan's expressions became dark and solemn after seeing this scene. A rich murderous intent surged in their eyes as he coldly cried out. Hun Tiendi, you are asking to die. Ha ha, seeking death? That is not guaranteed. Hun Tiendi laughed towards the sky upon hearing this. The smile on his face became a little mysterious. At this moment, brilliant light began to rise from within his body. The injuries caused by the combined attacks of Gu Yuan and Zhu Kun was completely healed in an instant. Waves after waves of frightening energy ripples slowly seeped out from within his body. The expressions of Gu Yuan and Zhu Kun were once again altered after they detected the aura within Hun Tiendi's body, which had suddenly become many times stronger. 
the energy of the embryonic pill had begun to erupt. His strength will soar by many times for a short period of time. After that, however, it is likely that his body and soul would be filled by the increasingly terrifying energy until they explode. Gu Yuan's eyes flashed. He did not panic as he spoke in a deep voice. Do not give him any opportunity to refine it. All we need to do is to quickly stop him and we will be able to force the deter embryonic pill from within his body. Zhu Kun's expression had become very grave. He immediately cried out in a low voice, Attack! Gu Yuan nodded upon hearing his cry. Hun Tiendi's group had gained a great advantage when it came to subduing the deter medicinal pill. Moreover, at the critical moment, the transforming pill ring that was formed by the Nihilite devouring flame, ended up restraining the almighty Deter medicinal pill until it could not retaliate. Chi. The two individuals moved as they desired. A thought had just appeared when they rushed across the sky and shoot towards Hun Tiendi. Ha ha, all of you are currently no match for me. Hun Tiendi was unafraid after seeing the two rushing over again. He laughed out loud. Both of his fists were clenched before they were suddenly thrown forward. Bang! After Hun Tiendi's fists were thrown forward, two 10,000 feet large vacuum space were directly formed in the sky. Gu Yuan's and Zhu Kun's expressions changed after seeing this wind, which had suddenly become a lot more terrifying. He hurriedly unleashed his Dou Qi to receive the attack. Immediately, two deafening loud sound exploded in the sky. Bam Bam! A frightening extermination storm exploded from Gu Yuan's and Zhu Kun's hand. The directly pushed Xiao Yan duo back by thousands of feet. On the other hand Hun Tiendi continued to stand proudly in the sky. Moreover, the ripple spreading from within his body also became increasingly terrifying. Seeing the situation in the sky changing abruptly, Xiao Yan and the others experienced a great change in expression. It was unexpected that after devouring the Deter medicinal pill, Hun Tiendi's strength would actually soar until such an extent. Moreover, everyone understood that this was only at the initial strengthening stage. If Hun Tiendi was allowed to successfully refine the Deter embryonic pill, he would advance to the Dou De class. At that time, there would really be no opportunity to turn things around. Gu Yuan, ultimately, I am still victorious in this fight. Hun Tiendi stepped on the empty air. He looked at Gu Yuan and Zhu Kun before laughing out loud. He had prepared and schemed for many years before he finally reached this most critical stage. It is likely that you are feeling extremely terrible inside right? Do not be happy too early. Gu Yuan laughed coldly. Hun Tiendi was not irritated upon hearing this. All he did was laughed in a faint voice. He shut his eyes slightly. A drunken expression was revealed in them. It had been many years since he had felt such an increase in strength. Are you able to hold on? The Nihilite devouring flame behind Hun Tiendi involuntarily said. If Hun Tiendi really ended up exploding due to being too full of energy, the Nihilite devouring flame would definitely be no match for Gu Yuan and Zhu Kun combined. You are far too reckless. The Nihilite devouring flame was a little furious as he spoke. No one knew if it was because Hun Tiendi had devoured the Deter embryonic medicinal pill or because the latter had snatched the pill from his hands. You can be rest assured. I know my limits. Hun Tiendi laughed faintly. He did not appear to panic because of the wildly soaring Dou Qi within his body. The Nihilite devouring flame's eyes flashed after hearing these words. All he could do was to nod his head and said, Are you fine now? All I need to do is to safely leave. Hun Tiendi laughed. That appearance of his was unusually calm. It was as though he did not bother about Gu Yuan and Zhu Kun. Trying to leave? Do you think that it is so simple? Gu Yuan and Zhu Kun laughed coldly at this moment. Monstrous Dou Qi surged. After which, it crazily erupted towards Hun Tiendi. However, Hun Tiendi merely waved his hand gently in the face of an attack by the two. He easily blocked the attacks. Hun Tiendi's finger drew past the space beside him when Gu Yu and Duo were blocking his attack. A spatial crack appeared. Bang bang bang! 
Gu Yuan and Zhu Kunduo became increasingly wild upon seeing this scene. Powerful Dou Qi pillars, which caused one's heart to tremble, penetrated through the empty space. It continuously smashed onto the Dou Qi defense in front of Hun Tiendi. Ripples were stirred in the process. Hun Tiendi chose to ignore the attacks from those two. He hand grabbed below him and forcefully sucked those experts from the Hun clan over before throwing them into the crack in space. Bang bang! An extermination like fluctuation was transmitted from behind. Hun Tiendi's face twitched. There was a trace of blood flowing down from the corner of his mouth. You! The Nihilite devouring flame was greatly startled upon seeing this scene. It seemed that the condition within Hun Tiendi's body was not as good as he had claimed. Of course, fighting against two advance level 9 star Dou Sheng's attacks was not something that he could simply ignore even if he had the protection of the Ditir embryonic pill. Gu Yuan, I have said that I will ultimately be victorious in this situation, once I completely refine the Ditir embryonic pill, it would be the time that your Gu clan, Lei clan, Yan clan, Sky Mansion Alliance and Ancient Void Dragon Tribe completely vanish from this world. Hun Tiendi swallowed the fresh sweet blood in his mouth. He turned his head and looked densely at Gu Yuan's group. His tone was dark and cold as he spoke. Go! Hun Tiendi grabbed the Nihilite devouring flame and tossed his to the spatial crack after his voice sounded. Seeing this, the Nihilite devouring flame quickly became anxious. He said, there is still my. Before he could finish speaking, however, he saw a couple of bloody cracks appearing on Hun Tiendi's neck. Immediately, he understood that the latter was unable to fight. All he could do was to clench his teeth unwillingly and rush towards the spatial crack. Roar! Gu Yuan's and Zhu Kun's expression changed after they saw that Hun Tiendi was actually able to split the space present. A low roar sounded. After which, an energy tide surged and crazily surged towards Hun Tiendi. Bang bang bang! The heavy mountain-like wild tide ruthlessly smashed onto Hun Tiendi's back. His expression quickly paled. Many bloody wounds split all over his body. Blood shot out and he was dyed into a bloody person in the blink of an eye. However, Hun Tiendi and the Nihilite devouring flame relied on this pushing force to charge directly into the crack in space. In a flash, he had vanished. The spatial crack also quickly disappeared. Swoosh! Gu Yuan and Hun Tiendi duo appeared at the spot where the crack in space was. A frightening ripple was surging from their hands. They tore violently but the space itself had only fluctuated for a moment. No crack lines appeared. Damn it! Gu Yuan and Zhu Kun's expression immediately became ugly upon seeing this scene. This ancient god realm was frighteningly stable. They would have to return to the place where they had entered from if they wished to leave. However, by the time they did so, it was likely that Hun Tiendi's group would have escaped far away. The expressions of those two were gloomy as they slowly descended from the sky. They looked at the similarly quiet group. Finally, they could only sigh. Daughter, that bastard is far too cunning, Zhu Kun looked at Zi Yan rubbed his hands together and laughed bitterly. Zi Yan glanced at him. After which, she looked at the quiet Xiao Yan. She shook her head and softly said, What should we do now? Hun Tiendi had obtained the Ditir embryonic pill. If he is allowed to successfully refine it, there would likely really be a big trouble. We will charge directly to the Hun realm now. Lei Ying's expression was ferocious as he spoke. Everyone exchanged glances after hearing this. They immediately nodded. This was the only thing that they could do now. If they sat back and did nothing, their fate would be similar to the Ling and other ancient clans. Xiao Yan sighed softly in his heart. He was aware that Hun Tiendi would not be this foolish. The latter was aware that his current condition was ill-suited for combat. Hence, Either they would not return to the Hun clan or they would use some methods to hide the Hun realm. Although hiding a realm was extremely troublesome, it would not be difficult given Hun Tiendi's ability. Moreover, the Hun clan had prepared for this for thousands of years. Naturally, they would be fully prepared. Hopefully, 
that fellow will be unable to refine the Dittir embryonic pill. Otherwise, Xiao Yan curled his mouth. He lifted his head and glanced at the others, only to discover that there was also some worry their eyes. Once Hun Tiendi broke through to the Dou Di class, there would really be no one in this world who can restrain him. Given his vengeful character, all the factions in the Alliance army would definitely suffer from his destructive vengeance. It is pointless to think of more. Gather our people and hurry to the Hun realm. We will hold back Hun Tiendi before they could prepare themselves. As long as we do not give him any time to refine the Dittir embryonic pill, he would end up exploding from the energy of the Dittir embryonic pill without us needing to do anything. Gu Yuan inhaled a deep breath and spoke in a deep voice. Everyone nodded upon hearing this. Ugh, wait a moment, Zhu Kun's eyes suddenly flashed after he saw that everyone planned to leave. He laughed, since we have come to this place, we must naturally not leave empty-handed. All of you should step aside. I will bring this square and the stone statue out of this place. Xiao Yan's group was stunned. Their eyes swept over the square. Although there were many heavenly flames present, they were no different than some specimens. It was pointless to take them. That statute had also once again become original with the departure of the Dittir embryonic pill. You can do as you like. Gu Yuan was currently in an extremely bad mood. He waved his hand, turned around and rushed towards the spatial tunnel. Everyone followed behind him. Xiao Yan was one of the last to leave. He took another glance at Zhu Qin before frowning slightly. This old dragon emperor would not do something completely useless. Could it be that there is something strange about the square at the stone statue? Xiao Yan thought for a moment but it was a futile effort. All he could do was to take a deep look at the smiling Zhu Kun. After which, he proceeded to follow Gu Yuan. Chapter 1635, The Ambition of Hun Tiendi the Alliance army filled one's eyes within the mountain range covered with chilly wines. At this moment, Gu Yuan and the rest had a somewhat ugly expression as they stood in front of a ruins around a huge door. It was possible to detect a vague spatial fluctuation from this mess. The path to the Hun realm had already been destroyed, Gu Yuan's expression was gloomy. He glanced at everyone before he spoke, additionally, based on my probing, the Hun realm has already been hidden. It looks like they were prepared. Xiao Yan gently exhaled. His expression was grave. It was unexpected that the current situation would be so severe. The Hun clan had completely hide their realm. In this way, even Gu Yuan was unable to find their position within a short while. Although it was impossible for the Hun clan to continue hiding like this forever, all they needed to do was to hide until Hun Tiendi refine that Dittir embryonic pill. At that time, the Alliance army had already completely fell into a disadvantage. We have already dispatched people to probe the other tunnels that leads to the Hun realm. Yan Jin said. Gu Yuan shook his head slightly. Since the Hun clan was prepared, it was obvious that they would not leave such a fatal loophole. Their army was currently on the offensive but they were unable to find their way in. This mission of theirs could be considered a failure. What should we do now? Lei Ying was quiet for a moment. His voice was a little hoarse as he spoke. Now, all we can do is wait and see who has a better luck. Gu Yuan sighed softly. Wait for what? Lei Ying asked in a startled voice. Refining the Dittir embryonic pill also involves some chances of failure. Now, the only thing that we can do is to pray that Hun Tiendi is unable to successfully refine the Dittir embryonic pill. As long as he fail to step into the Dou Di class, we will have an opportunity. Of course, if he succeed, Gu Yuan paused after he spoke until this point. It seems that the heavens wish for us to perish. Everyone was quiet. Their hearts sunk. Without realizing it, they had already come to such a stage. Let's scatter. We will leave some spies behind, Gu Yuan waved his hand. After which, he slowly walked to the back. During this period of time, I will do my best to find the location where the Hun realm is hiding. If we are lucky, we might be able to discover it early. At that time, 
we will decide if we will charge into the Hun realm and engage in a decisive fight with them. Everyone was quiet after hearing Gu Yuan's words. All of them understood that they currently did not have much of a choice. Xiao Yan lifted his head towards the sky and exhaled softly. He immediately looked at the somewhat tired back of Gu Yuan. The eight ancient clans had fought many times for the ancient god mansion. It was unexpected that the Hun clan actually ended up benefiting in the end. Let's go. Xiao Yan pulled Sun Er's and Ca Lin's somewhat icy hands. He shook his head and led the group to withdraw. The Alliance army, which covered the entire place, gradually withdrew from the mountain range. Although news did not spread, that solemn atmosphere still ended up spreading involuntarily. It caused the entire Alliance army to feel quite pressured. The Alliance army withdrew. Finally, they returned to the headquarters of the Sky Mansion Alliance. They had ended up in failure but the Alliance did not scatter as a result. This was because all of them understood that by cooperating in the face of Hun Tiendi, who had managed to obtain the Dittir embryonic pill, they might still be able to survive. Once they separated, however, they would undoubtedly die. Hence, the Alliance Army forces continued to stay guard around the Sky Mansion Alliance and continuously observe the activity on the Central Plains. Following the scattering of the Alliance Army, time passed by a day at a time while many waited anxiously. However, Gu Yuan, who had been probing the location of the Hidden Hun Realm, did not stir any activity as the time flowed by. This result caused the hearts of many to sink slightly. Given the current situation, every additional day Hun Tiendi had to refine the pill meant an additional danger to the Alliance Army. Although their hearts were searing hot, everyone understood that regardless of how anxious one was, one was helpless in the face of the change in situation. Xiao Yan stood within the Star Realm as he lifted his head and looked at the huge square floating in the distant sky. It had been brought out from within the ancient god realm by Zhu Qin. There was a hundred thousand feet tall stone statue on it. Although one was unable to see anything unique, its mountain-like size still caused many to be shocked. It has been a month. Xiao Yan involuntarily muttered to himself as he stared at the huge square floating in the sky. An entire month had passed ever since Hun Tiendi had snatched the Dittir embryonic pill. During this one month, the Hun clan appeared to have completely vanished from this world. No information about them spread. Some of the outsiders, who were unaware of the situation, even thought that the Hun clan was eliminated by the Alliance army. Many factions came to congratulate them. However, Xiao Yan and the rest did not have the mood to bother about these people. They dispatched some individuals to receive them and dismissed these people. Xiao Yan GG a gentle voice was transmitted from behind him. Xiao Yan turned his head and looked at the picture-like lady, who was gently walking over. He also gave a faint smile. Is there any news from Uncle Gu? Xiao Yan inquired. He only sighed in disappointment after seeing Sun Er shake her head. Waves of furtage rose within his heart as he shut his eyes. This kind of waiting without doing anything was really terrible. Sun Er looked at this young man, whose face was filled with tiredness, as she stood in front of Xiao Yan. She gently leaned against him. Her exquisite face was lifted and her somewhat warm hand gently massaged Xiao Yan's temples in an attempt to relieve him of some fatigue. Xiao Yan relaxed his arms as he sniffed the tempting body fragrance from the girl in front of him. He hugged that gently waist and buried his head into Sun Er's black hair. Finally, he muttered. Am I finally going to fail after working hard for so many years? Xiao Yan Gege is already extremely incredible, Sun Er smiled and softly replied. Regardless of what the ending will be in the future, Xiao Yan Gege will be considered to be the most successfully in the hearts of many people. I have clearly failed. Xiao Yan smiled bitterly and stated. Did Xiao Yan Ji Ji not mention that only by putting things down will one be able to lift things up? Letting things go as one wishes the epitome of a free and unrestrained person. Sun Er spoke in a soft and gentle voice. Now is different from the past. If I put things down now, the entire Sky Mansion Alliance and even the Gu, Lei and Yan clans, 
Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air. He lifted his head and looked at the bright moon in the sky. He said, at times, one can pick things up but cannot simply let them go. Sun Yar bit her red lips as she looked at the face, which once again revealed a determination. She continued to be embraced by Xiao Yan while an extremely pretty smile surfaced on her face. Xiao Yan GG, we will succeed. Time flowed by. Another half a month swiftly passed amidst everyone's uneasiness. The Hun clan continued to be completely quiet during this half a month. It was as though they had completely vanished without a trace. All the various upper echelons of the alliance sat within a large hall. There was a worry on their brow. Each day that passed caused an increase in the uneasiness of their hearts. Xiao Yan gently sighed as he looked at the somewhat depressed hall. This feeling of being able to do nothing while waiting for the appearance of the Hun clan was really terrible. Damn it, why is it that these bastards have still not appear? If they wish to fight, then let's fight. My Lei clan will fight a bloody battle with them until the end. This period of time is far too suffocating. Lei Ying suddenly slammed his palm on the table amidst this gloominess and shattered the table into dust. He suddenly stood up and spoke with gritting teeth. Who is going to fight with you? Where will you go to fight? Yan Jin by the side frowned and stated. Lei Ying clenched his teeth and finally sighed in a tired manner. He sat back down. The Hun clan had been hiding. Where would he find them to fight? Everyone, Xiao Yan overlooked the hall. He was just about to utter some words to raise everyone's morale when the space within the hall shook. Gu Yuan's figure was revealed. Everyone present suddenly stood up after seeing Gu Yuan's appearance. They anxiously asked, is there any information? Gu Yuan's expression was unusually grave. He slowly nodded. X. Before everyone could rejoice, however, he said, I have indeed found the location of the Hun realm but, it is already too late. A basin of cold water seemed to have splashed over everyone after they heard these words. The excitement on their faces had suddenly disappeared. What does Uncle Gu mean? Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment before asking. Gu Yuan sighed. His eyes were quickly thrown towards the sky above the central plains. The entire central plain suddenly shook intensely when he did so. This scene was detected by Xiao Yan's group. They hurriedly walked out from the hall and looked at the distant sky. There was suddenly a black circle of light appearing. This light circle spread QT a shocking speed the moment it appeared. The entire central plains was enveloped within it. Bang bang bang! The natural energy that filled the entire central plains had suddenly boiled with the appearance of this light circle. Countless number of experts paled from shock as they lifted their heads to observe the sky. Under the focus of countless number of experts from the central plains, the black light began to shake in the sky. Finally, it turned into a light cauldron in front of many horrified eyes. The size of the cauldron could not be described. It seemed to have enveloped the entire central plains within it. This is. Xiao Yan and the rest had a change in expression as they watched the unusual scene in the sky. They could sense a familiar feeling amidst the endless light. It was that of Hun Tiendi. Hun Tiendi has already formed an initial merger with the Dittir embryonic pill. Now, he intends to use the central plains as a cauldron lives as the ingredients, the world as the flame and his body as the pill, Gu Yuan clenched his fist tightly as his low and deep voice resounded beside everyone's ears. He is planning to truly refine that Dittir embryonic pill into an actual dip pill. Once the pill is formed, he would also advance into the Do Di class. Hun Tiendi, all of us has underestimated his wild ambition.